Singaporeans love to shop. It's a local joke that the national pastime is shopping, and Singapore has like a large shopping mall. From 2013 to 2014, apparel internet retailing sales growth grew faster at uh, 6% compared to store-based uh, apparel and footwear specialist retailers growth at only 1%. This means that brick and mortar shops have to create strategies to draw the crowd physically to their uh, stores. Um, Custom-made services has been in Singapore for very long, but mostly in the form of made-to-measure tailoring. Bespoke fashion gained a following in uh, recent years for a few reasons. Firstly, um, the gaining popularity for hipster shops, especially those along Haji Lane. Secondly, the increasingly experimental and expressive attitude of young shoppers. Thirdly, um, better access to unique brands not available in Singapore through uh, online channels. And uh, fourthly, the widespread acceptance of vintage dressing uh, in Singapore. Uh, in 2014, uh, we can see that the bespoke fashion trend um, extended to established brands. Uh, for example, Prada introduced the made-to-order shoe services for two weeks for its brokes in October 2014. Customers can choose from 32 color details, uh, three leather options, and even choose their initials to be stamped at their soles of the shoes. Ferragamo also launched custom-made shoe services for its uh, iconic 35 years Vera shoes in October 2014. As an added experience, customers can even choose to witness the making process of a handcrafted shoe to see the special care that goes into every individual pair. Uh, Mass Market is also offering customization options. In July 2014, Nikju launched a fun range of customizable shoes called the Tic Tac Shoes, both in store and online. Customers are able to choose their shoe shape color, fabric, as well as uh, accessories. Um, but how does Singapore compare to other countries in the region? In developing markets such as Indonesia and Vietnam, the trend has not yet had opportunity um, to hit mainstream racks. However, uh, it's mostly in the form of uh, tailoring uh, and uh, niche high-end brands. But uh, in developed markets such as Taiwan and Hong Kong, they do offer similar uh, uh, services. And it was so successful in Hong Kong that uh, Prada offered the services twice, firstly for heat pumps and then for brooks. So what does this mean for the future in um, Singapore and in the region? Following the success of premium brands in developed markets, mainstream brands are expected to follow. Uh, the trend, however, might be slow for developing markets as customers are not willing to spend more money on special products. But the trend can be an added bonus for retailers and brands who wish to increase traffic for their physical stores. For retailers who wish to provide their customers with a more holistic experience, um, customization trend might just be one of the strategies for 2015.